these these weird little coincidences this can't be a coincidence right no like why not do the like it, it, the time is just it just it just stinks right because like this this pronoun thing's been going on for for a long time be it you you just choose this week the same week that you announce that there's going to be a drag panel at Star Wars celebration <sighs> And let me remind you, kids go to Star Wars Celebration. Kids, families, you name it. I mean, it's, it's Visiting, a big, it, these are big events. This is a this for Star Wars. It's a big, big, big event. Like, and I don't know if I read the whole article because I was so so frustrated when I saw it that basically Star Wars Celebration is is turning into a drag show. Is kind um, of so okay. Yeah, here's the here's the thing. Let me let me get that, that tweet really quick. Because uh, it was not the whole thing. Hang on. Not the whole thing. <clears throat> so, uh, that gay Jedi uh, on Twitter, I am humbled, grateful, and over the forest moons to announce that my Star Wars Celebration panel with Pencil Scratch and a couple others uh, titled Star Wars is a drag exploring Star Wars through the art of drag has been officially approved. We can't wait to share this with you all. Uh, it's just a panel. It's not the whole thing at the same time. However, uh, because this is being hosted wherever in Europe, so it could be England could be what, you know, who, whatever in the European union. Right. Um, that they're having this little event. So for all we could know, yes, it does take over more than just a panel discussion or whatever. Yeah, but the this whole is, show is going to be a, a bit, you know. Yeah, I, it wouldn't surprise me. But th this is the thing. So looking at this, here's the here's the, the description. The long and rich history of drag has graced the world with entertainment culture political action and so much okay so i don't know what you know of drag but the main thing that i always knew it as was it was a sexual fetish yeah it was not nothing to be normalized or anything it was always known as a sexual fetish yeah. and yet here they are putting this on display like they have been in so many places now. It, yeah. I, it, this gets this this all this whole thing gets more ridiculous too. Uh, it is no wonder then that today the art form, that's quite a loose term, has reached such a cultural significance that the truths and concepts of drag performance permeate countless aspects of our daily lives. Including Star Wars. Uh, I, don't Star Wars. Wrote, I don't know who wrote this, but somebody's drunk or high. Some, well, <laughs> they probably are. Some of Star Wars' very best characters embody various core principles of drag. Who? Whether it's Din Djarin's drag as personal expression and self discovery, Asajj Ventress's drag as queer rebellion. Or Padme Amidala's drag as self empowerment, the uh, the relevance of of drag even spills out of the pages and screens of Star Wars and flows through the fandom itself, through hobbies like cosplay. While taking an introductory look at the history and function of drag in our world today, let's also explore its thematic resonance and influence presence in everyone's favorite far far away galaxy. Go oh, where do you back. begin with this crap? Because it's like, know. where do you, where are they getting this? Where? Because it, last I knew, it's relativism. It's relativism, man. What their truth is, they believe whatever their whatever they believe is their truth. So they believe basically, right? I mean, it's that, like Din Djarin, Mando. All he does is wear a suit of armor. I last I knew, he wasn't prancing around in a dress. No, well, you don't know what's under. He could be wearing a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> he could be i guess yeah you're right under it no and 
Asajj Ventress's drag as queer rebellion? Yeah. Last I knew, even in the Disney continuity, she was straight and hooked and hooked up with freaking um. She was she was uh, with old Dooku, uh, bruh. No, she um. Oh God, the Jedi. What's his name? Um, Quinlan Pet. Moss. Yes. I always thought that she was, was in their own continuity. I thought she was just was with old Dooku <laughs> doing she, things and she had a daddy thing. Well, that's what <laughs> I always thought. What well, didn't Padme Amidala's drag as self empowerment? What again? She wasn't. She wasn't like dressing in male clothing or anything like that. And it's like if you're talking about her personality, that was just her personality, bro. Yeah, I had nothing to do with what she. No, I'm just. Uh, it, it hurts the brain, right? It's just like this sort of not. I mean, I, I the term is getting. It's almost around, like, but sorry, go ahead. It's like it's almost as stupid as like. Well, Patrick Mahomes threw the ball to Travis Kelsey, so he wants to be in bed with Travis Kelsey. Because he threw the ball to Travis Kelsey. So obviously he has feelings for him. Yeah, it, it's these shippers it, it, that have it, that have really infested a lot of the the, the I guess, I guess yeah, it'd just be the fandom. It's just the logic. The, the, the logic makes no sense. Like because Padme was self sufficient, independent, and whatnot, then she she amplifies whatever this guy just said within drag history because yourself your self empowerment yeah. self because yeah self empowered that is it self empowerment is a trait of of drag ism i don't Apparently, know if that's even a word according to this so it, it just it, it's just stupid it just like we live in a culture whether and whatever you believe, whatever your faith is, whatever you believe, like you know, that's what's so great about this country. But we are living in a day where what has always been right is now wrong, and everything right. that has always been deemed wrong is now right. Exactly. It's, and it's opposite if you sit there extreme. and you say that this is wrong, you get treated. Basically, you're treated like Wikipedia is treating everybody who you know goes against the the status quo right if i go and there and say like simple question this is wrong a drag show within star wars is wrong because of the implications that it can have with the kids like the adults can make up their mind that's fine yeah that, that's, the adolescents that's, that's can make up their mind if they yeah. want but the kids that are going to this like when you are in charge of something as as big as star wars you have an obligation you should morally have you should always be thinking from a moral standard like a moral perspective because you are now influencing those who are easily influenced so if you're gonna sit right. there and and have it whether it's not a, whether it's a well, drag, what's, or it's yeah, not what's a drag the, show <clears throat> you're still, saying a kid's mind is like a sponge right right so regardless if it's a drag show or not a drag show you are now exposing these kids to this so the kids are now going to think that this is okay and this is right and this is not about inclusive inclusivity or whatever this at the end of the day this is this is a what's morally right and what's morally wrong right just because you don't agree with somebody doesn't mean you have to hate that person right for me like i said i've been vocal on the show and i don't care i'm a christian right Right. Just because I don't agree or I think that this is wrong does not mean I hate the person that's doing it. No, I don't agree with what they're doing, but I don't well, hate you know, the, the person at an individual the, level. That was and like that's, that, what they, I, that's what they turn. That, that's what they twist, right? Oh, because well, you don't agree with me. That was kind of the idiot. thing that my this is something kind of my my brother and I have talked about. You know, it's like they've used these rule the 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 general like rules of like just like common courtesy and stuff like that against us because we knew they knew there were certain things that you know we, we respected we just kind of you know we're like okay that's you whatever and you just didn't you just didn't bring it up or whatever it's like it's like you know the the rules of of work you don't talk about 
religion, politics, and stuff like that. Even though those that are the was, most important things to talk about. Except but that was just it, right? We kind of got we kind of got hornswoggled into this whole, you know, general concept, and it was used against us to then, you know, they they because they had no they they had no qualms about not sharing talking about their nonsense and it got pushed and it got pushed and it got pushed. You yeah. know? And that's that's effectively what it's become. I don't know, man. It's just I'm not gonna say, if this it may not be a drag show, but it's a drag panel and you know that Oh, it's probably gonna turn like you said, it's probably gonna turn into a show. So they'll probably have know, a man. show event or something either after or before or during or whatever. It, it, it'll be just that, like you said. You can do you can be a part of what you want to be a part of. You can believe what you want to believe. That's on you, right? Just because I don't agree with this does not mean I hate the people that are partaking in this stuff. But I don't I don't agree with it and I don't I don't stand by it and I I don't endorse it. So right. you know at the beginning of the show when I said Star Wars is dead, like I think we've come to a point in time where Star Wars is dead. 